How's it going everyone? Future President of the United States, Donald Trump here. I hope you've all been enjoying your week so far, you know, heading off to work or school with my daily dose of cringe to help you along the way. But before I talk about today's video, I have a very special announcement. My son, the Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, Vine Source Joel, subscribed to me the other day. Oh Lord, today's a beautiful day! If any of you are wondering who Vine Source Joel is, I have no idea who he is. Shame on you. Shame on you. You, you, you disgust me. But here's a small clip of uh, what your boy Vine Source Joel does. So, uh... I got face cancer. You got face cancer? I got the best face cancer, buddy. You got the best face cancer in town. Uh, hey, you want some crack? Hey, you want my, my ass crack? Mm, oh, yeah. So yeah, Joel suffers with Terminal 7 face cancer. Please donate to his fund, uh, link in the description. Oh, he makes YouTube videos as well. They're alright, I guess. I've also been sent some fan art of me and Joel. Uh, I didn't just draw this five minutes ago. They, there you go, look at that, it's amazing. Thanks for subscribing, Joel. Much love. Uh, please collab with me, collab with me. I have no friends. I want to kill myself. So I got a comment from Hovey... Hovey... Fucking... He's a bird, okay? It's just, and he says, Talk about and react to the 27-year-old man obsessed with Pac-Man. Oh, God. Can you... Can you hear that? I in the distance. It's... It's the H3... H3 Nation! Run! H3... 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 So I'm just going to address the morbidly obese elephant in the corner of the room. H3H3 H3 have talked about this before. They've talked about the crazy Pac-Man guy. But to me, this whole concept of whoever talks about something first owns it, that's stupid. You know, that's basically like PewDiePie playing Minecraft and then every single other person who plays Minecraft is then a copy just because they're playing the same game as him. It's this stupid hype culture of whoever's the biggest and does the thing first, then apparently owns the thing. But honestly, Ethan and Healer have probably done a much better job of talking about this video than I will, so be sure to check their version out. So without further ado, boys and girls, let's watch today's cringe. Meet Tim Crist, a man obsessed with Pac-Man. Hmm? After all this time, he's still there, he's still yellow, he's still perfectly round, he's still eating things. I feel as if his glowing light is always protecting me and guiding me and making all my enemies blue and edible. Behold, I am Pac-Man! So about 15 seconds into the video, we can already confirm, this guy is a fucking nutcase. Not only does he have possibly the creepiest smile known to mankind. The man obsessed with Pac-Man. Not only does he have a cape that was probably made for a two-year-old boy, and it literally chokes his neck while he wears it, but he wears a scary-ass Pac-Man mask that literally looks like one of the masks from the second Purge film. Okay, this is a bad case. This guy has terminal cringe. Can we get the disappointed dad sigh? <laughs> Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness, like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples, and it's just this wonderful thing, like, hey, look. It's Pac-Man! This guy is just absolutely amazing. You could literally add dark horror suspense music to any scene he's in, and it looks like it's from a horror film. It's Pac-Man! For the past 20 years, Tim's life has been consumed by Pac-Man. If you've never played Pac-Man before, it's a little something like this. Look what you've done. I mean, to be fair, mate, you could have just gone, come over to my TV and I'll plug in Pac-Man and I'll show you. But no, no, you had to give... A physical representation of what Pac-Man was, with your voice and your hands. And no one, <laughs> no one can do that without looking like a complete retard. So congratulations. It's like he has a bond with Pac-Man. Uh, he has this psychic connection with Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Pac-Man! I totally understand this guy, you know, like he, he's got a thing for Pac-Man. That's great. I'm really happy for him. Everyone's got their hobbies and their leisures, you know, all that shit. But wandering through an arcade, publicly screaming, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, 
Pac-Man, Pac-Man. Like an absolutely crazy man, you're just gonna get shot. You're gonna get shot or arrested, let's be fair. Like, I'm, I'm happy for him that he enjoys Pac-Man, but wandering through an arcade full of little kids, going, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. And look at the guy, he's a giant. Like, he must be so intimidated to all these kids, just, uh, just seeing this huge man walk through, going, Pac-Man, Pac-Man, Pac-Man. And there he'll be, you know, his golden yellow light just, oh. <laughs> Batman. Hi, Batman. The drool will be there, and he'll be reaching in his pockets instead of for a condom, he'll be reaching for tokens. Quarter, 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 quarter. Hello. How are you? Might I perhaps ask you for some quarters that I may offer them to the great yellow one? Certainly, certainly. Let's be fair. He's only doing this because he's on camera. If a huge six foot seven guy walks into your cafe, hands you a fiver and says, I want this turned into quarters for the great yellow one. You'd think he wants fucking drugs or something. You just call the police. He's really hard on the buttons. I feel bad for the machine. You know? I can't, I'm not a Pac-Man machine. Right, right. I love how the owners are complaining, saying, oh yeah, he's pressing the buttons on the machine too hard. Did you see him when he walked into the cafe? He was literally groping the machine. He was probably going to insert his penis into the coin slot if he could. <laughs> <laughs> Tim has spent $10,000 in quarters alone, playing every day on his lunch break. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, he's possessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's... In spite of playing Pac-Man since he was seven years old, Tim has yet to master the game. <laughs> when the holy semicircle of life meets his demise, in the melting way he does, it always brings in me a feeling that Maybe I could have done something more. Maybe I could have turned left instead of right. Or you could just accept it's a video game and put another quarter in to get an extra life, you know. You're treating it like it's the fucking end of the world. Just put another quarter in, mate. Pac-Man! No! Clyde tried to bite Pac-Man. Clyde bite Pac-Man! Why Clyde bite Pac-Man? Pac-Man was made for 20 different game systems and Tim has every one, enabling him to play in every room in his home. It's very frustrating trying to play Pac-Man with Tim. You have to avoid them. The trick is to not run into them when they try to eat. You see, game over. Now you don't get to play anymore, and it's all me. You get to watch me play. It's just a total exercise in futility for me because I'll be waiting 15 minutes for my turn. Pac-Man wants to- Ha-ha! Pac-Man eat you now! Ha! I feel so sorry for the wife. Like, look at all these clips. She just looks so unhappy in literally every single frame. You know that their entire marriage just revolves around Pac-Man and how amazing the game is. Like, look, look how addicted the husband looks. And the wife just looks so disinterested. She, she just doesn't give one, mate. In 2001, Tim put his passion for Pac-Man to music in a song called Pac-Man is Naked and So Should You. Are you ready for Batman? No, not really, to be honest. It's a bad go! What's wrong with you? Tim. Tim, what's wrong with you? Well, if you open up his psych profile, I'm pretty sure it'll list over 20 different neurological disorders and that he basically wants to have sex with Pac-Man. Sometimes, he just gotta bring the message to the people. Occasionally, I'll be driving around and I'll pass somebody who doesn't look like he has invited the full glory of Pac-Man into his life, and I feel the need to, you know, convey to him somehow that he really should. So everything up to this point isn't really too bad. He keeps the addiction to him and his wife and he goes to the local cafe to grope the local Pac-Man machine. <laughs> but he also does something a lot worse. He gets in his car, pulls out a microphone and literally starts screaming Pac-Man at people like he's got Tourette's. Pac-Man! 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 Lest the public forget about Pac-Man, Tim goes out every week to remind them. He won't rest until the world shares his enthusiasm for Pac-Man. I simply profess the glory of the Golden One who is round and eats things. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you could do something a lot more low-key. You know, you could hand some flyers out, just talk to the community, maybe host a little meeting about, you know, how great Pac-Man is. Getting in your car and screaming Pac-Man to people with absolutely no context is probably going to put people off, and they'll probably just call the police, if anything. 
Unfortunately, kids, I can only show you this amount of cringe anymore or probably kill you, so I gotta stop the video there. Just a little heads up, my mate is a total faggot. He, he made some video, uh, I think it's called like MLG Donald Trump gets ret or, or so, something like that. I'll leave a link for it in the description. Give him some support, you know, uh, like the video and tell him that people love him because he actually has no friends in real life. Also, let's have a like goal today, guys. One like and I will steal Vine Source Joel and uh, stick him in my basement. <laughs> Sleep is a beer.